As we've already mentioned, You Can't Go Home Again is a sequel to Thomas Wolfe's Of Time and the River. Now, Wolfe was a great admirer of James Joyce, and so his prose often tends to be highly lyrical. His tremendous intensity also allows for passages, which may be overwritten. I'm going to read a few excerpts from Wolfe's Of Time and the River, and then I'd like for us to discuss them and compare them to You Can't Go Home Again. For America has a thousand lights and weathers, and we walk the streets. We walk the streets forever. We walk the streets alone. It is the place of howling winds, the hurrying of leaves in old October, the hard, clean falling to the earth of acorns, the place of the storm-tossed moaning of the wintry mountainside, where the young... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where the young men cry out in their throats, and feel the savage vigor, the good, strong energy. The place also where the trains cross rivers. It is a fabulous country, the only fabulous country. It is the one place where miracles not only happen, but where they happen all the time. America is the place of autumnal moons hung low and orange at the frosty edges of the pines. It is the place of frost and silence, of the clean, dry shock and the opulence of enormous pumpkins that yellow on hard spots. Oh, Bradley. Back in class? Yeah, she's in class. Do you think we really ought to go through with it? Lillian, we don't really have any choice. The rear ends won't let us get near at the boarding house. I still don't think we should wait. I mean, we should wait till at least after the class. No, uh, no, I don't want to risk having another encounter with that Spalding kid. The wailing whistle of the fast express. It is a place of flares and steamings on the tracks, and the swing and bob and tottering of lanterns in the yards. It is the place of dings and knellings and the sudden glare of mighty engines over sleeping faces in the night. It is the place of the terrific web and spread and smoldering, the distant glare of Philadelphia and the solid rumble of the sleepers. It is also the place where the Transcontinental Limited is stroking 80 miles an hour across the continent and the small dark towns whip by like bullets. And there is only the fan-like... Are you ready, Mr. Ray? She's in there. Bradley, what's he doing here? What's here to help us. He's here to help us. Oh, no, Bradley, you told me this was going to be a family affair. Well, I Bradley. changed my mind. We're due in court at 4.30. The door we never found and have never forgotten his chance. To every man, regardless of his birth, his shining golden opportunity. To every man, the right to live, to work, to be himself, and to become whatever thing his manhood and his vision can combine to make him. This is the problem. Please, don't do it. There's a class going on here. This won't take long, and I've come to get my daughter. I won't go! Don't let them take me! Hey, what's going on? Shut up, Lillian. We don't have to explain our actions Look, to anyone. this is my classroom, and no one takes my students out of here against their will. I have a legal right to my daughter. Beth Ranger is scheduled to appear before the judge at 4.30. No, I won't go! Bradley, please, Officer, I'm going to need your help here. I want you to use the handcuffs if it's not... No, Rick! Oh, Rick! things haven't been too good for the two of you lately in our house. You don't know the half of it. Wow, sweetie, this looks like a very nice house you're in, and the Reardons seem like such nice people. They are, Mama. You wouldn't believe it. Everybody's so nice to everybody else. They don't yell or scream or make anyone else feel bad. Beth, I, I tried to make a nice home for you. Oh, I know you did, Mama. But it's Bradley. He's the one. He ruined everything. I don't want anything to do with that man ever again. 
Well, then I guess the reason I came to see you doesn't make any sense. I won't go home. No, that's not it. Mr. Spaulding has offered Bradley a new job. It's in Canada. It's a wonderful opportunity. It's a lot more money. And... Well, good. Let him go to Canada. Well, honey, you see, he wants us to go with him. No. Forget it. Beth, couldn't you... Couldn't you think of it as, as a way to put everything that's happened to us here in the past and, and, and have a whole new fresh start, just the three of us? I can't do that, Mama. Honey, couldn't you just try it for a little while? I mean, in three months, you're going to be 18 years old. And, and by then, you'd be free to come and go as you please so that if you wanted to leave, you could leave. Mama, I can't live under the same roof with that man. And nobody can make me. Beth, I'm afraid Bradley thinks he can make you. Honey, he's made a court appointment for Friday, and he says the judge will make you come back home. Well, he can't if he can't find me. Mama, please don't tell him where I am. Please don't. You can't. If there's anything you've ever done for me, don't tell him where I am. I would rather die than to live with him. Please, Mama, don't. I okay, swear. Okay, okay, sweetie, I promise you I won't. I promise, sweetie, you can stay here as long as you want. You don't have to come home, baby. Good thing I don't have to depend on you to tell me anything, Lillian. Done, we did the right thing. It is. It is the right thing. We had no other choice. Nope. We didn't have no choice at all. It was either you come with me or you go to court with Bradley. And I would have put you back in the house with him, but we couldn't have that. What are we going to do now? I don't know. But it's okay. Doesn't matter. We're together and that's the important thing. Lots of other stuff to worry about right now. We can talk about it later. It's okay. Thank you. We got all the time in the world, right? Do you really think so? Sure. Wait, unless you've got uh, some plans that you haven't told me about. Philip, what if the police catch up with us? And Bradley. I'm not going to let it happen. But what if they do? What will happen to you? Listen, don't you worry about me, okay? I do worry about you, Philip. You went against a court order to help me. I couldn't stand it if they put you in prison because of me. Listen, I have spent so much time in the Springfield jail that it's like a second home to me. Don't joke about this with me. I'm scared for you. Look, don't start thinking about bad things, okay? If you start that, and they're gonna happen. Now, we got nothing but good stuff ahead of us here. We're gonna think positive, right? Right. Where are we going? Who knows? We're just driving? Yeah, right now. Well, they're going to have a hard time finding us, and we don't even know where we're going. See, things aren't so bad, are they? <laughs> Not when I'm with you. This is going to be great. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. I don't know what we're going to do when we get there. But we are going to leave Springfield so far behind, we're never going to look back. I wish it was that easy. Can be. We just got to let it be bad. I want to. I want to so much. Philip, you know Bradley's going to have a state police or somebody out looking for us. Yeah, well, we're going to fix them. We're going to take the next turn off we come to, and we're going to hit the back roads. And if anybody comes looking for us, they're going to get a little run for their money. Well,
you go. I thought something happened to you. You scared the hell out of me. I'm sorry to see this scary, but I thought you were going to be longer doing the piano. But I can't go right back to Photoshop. This is New York. You can't just see that here. You can't just run off with anybody. But he's not just anybody. He's Santa Claus. I'm going to meet him. No, I don't want to meet him. I want to get out of here. Come on. Well, look, look how much money he helped me make. each other, right? That's all we need. We're cut. Come on, remember? I don't believe you. <laughs> what? You're always the one who's so practical and I'm the dreamer. We need money, Philip. We have to have fun, play some sleep, and we have no, to I eat. know, I know, I know. We'll be a Merry Christmas, children. What are you following us for? I think I can help you. Come on, let's get out of here. Philip, 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 wait. But I know, I know we can trust him. Really? I know we no, can. Well, you don't know that we can trust him. We don't even know who he is. Now, let's get well, Why don't we introduce ourselves? I'm Pat. She's Mike, okay? I mean... Hello, Mike. Very funny. Who are you? Why, Santa Claus. Yeah. Just follow me. Come along, come along. 